Okay, so we're reading a low voltage there from the induction coil in the drill. As we start to build up some speed on here, we can see this is a reasonable speed that it probably spins at in a normal light breeze, and you can see that we're getting about two to three volts. If I go a little bit harder, so that's that's about 20 volts, and you can imagine if the blades were fitted on that, that would be a ridiculous amount of speed. But in order to get the 13 or so volts that you need to charge the battery, it needs to be spinning at this rate. And to be spinning at this rate, this is seriously fast. Imagine this with blades on, that would be spinning very fast. So that's the minimum speed you need to get any kind of power out of it at all. Now we will go up to a high, much higher rate, so we can get up to around 30, 30 volts. So the generator is working, but you can imagine at this kind of speed, getting 30 volts out of there, the generator will be about to fly apart. Okay, so if we bring it back down and we see how much current we're getting, again we are open circuit here, so there's no load on. I'll just hang on while I switch over to current. Measuring how much current we have. Um, okay, we'll start spinning it up. And we, you, we're getting, so if we get up to one amp, this kind of speed we need to get to to get to one amp is, is about that. And that's as fast as I've ever seen it spin, even in that 100 km an hour wind, to get a couple of amps. It would be spinning very, very fast indeed. So if we put a load on, So this is about equivalent to about 450 um, amps. So that's a considerable load. So that's 16 ohms or 17 ohms or so of resistance. So we'll start spinning that up. How much current are we getting under load? And you can see that this, this speed with blades on would be very fast. I'm going 0.4 of an amp. To get up to one amp, that's the kind of speed we need to be spinning. And that is very fast indeed with blades on. Okay, I've got the wind generator set up um, just here inside the workshop. So we have the blades set up and we can see we are actually getting voltage on on the thing as we turn it now that's a fair speed to be turning to be honest uh, i've seen it in in mild breeze of spinning about that rate so you can see we're getting you know point two of a of a volt now, i will turn that lower on so this is where, admittedly, there's not a lot of power behind this vacuum cleaner, but spinning at that kind of rate is about, you know, a moderate breeze that we get here. That's about the speed you get. So if you look at, uh, if you look at what kind of rate that's spinning, compared with the voltage that they're getting, two volts. So, admittedly, uh, there isn't much power, that's true, but, and we are not bl blowing wind on both sides of the thing, but that's about, the, that's about as fast as I've seen it spin. Except in that gale where we were going 100 kilometres an hour. So that kind of speed is what you would normally get on a fairly standard breeze. And we are getting 2.7 volts. vacuum cleaner so it, we would normally get that in a proper breeze but the point I think the point's made that in a normal uh, fairly strong breeze 
about as fast as it spins. And we never get over two, three volts. So I was did have the system running off this higher quality MPPT controller here, um, and that was reading that there was zero volts coming from the sorry zero amps coming from the from the generator, and I thought no that can't possibly be right given the speed that it was turning, um, and uh, so I swapped to the controller that came with the device. And uh, so that was seven hours ago. And after seven hours, we went from 12.5 volts on the charge state of the battery to 12.5. So absolutely zero power is being produced. So it's definitely getting volts on there. Uh, we'll see how many we can get. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, sorry, if I had somebody else to hold the thing, I will do that. Uh, one second. Yeah, sorry about that. So we can see that there is definitely uh, we were reading volts and this MPPT controller also was showing that there were volts on the line, uh, but we are getting zero power. So often both controllers. Now, so I thought the laws of physics would apply here. And given that it was definitely producing voltage, if you put it under some battery load, you would get some kind of response and if I get the probes on you know it would be good if I had a gel tie them on again sorry there's no one else to help me with the camera so one second so on the voltmeter we're showing a one volt maybe two on a good day and if you can hear that wind let's go out and have a look at what it looks like spinning so if you can hear uh, that's the speed we're turning to have the generator you can see there's quite a bit of movement in that pole as well so as i was talking about um, guy ropes in the past uh, and yep, even if short, and that, that is a nice gust going there. And you can see the clothesline above me is actually <clears throat> doing a bit better than the wind generator. So we have a lot of blustery wind, and we are getting up to some decent spin there, and we are getting a fair bit of vibration. Which so this uh, again not being an ideal spot. Uh, we still have quite a bit of movement there and, and we're not producing any volta any well any decent voltage even I thought I thought actually we were getting decent voltage but we are not um, and so there's no way that the battery's ever going to charge um, uh, with this generator the way it is so um, the only thing is to go up on the roof and pull the generator down um, and uh, again it proves uh, proves quite quite a bit that uh, given given the amount of bluster we have here and winds right there um, and we have very little turning the the roof line is actually shielding the generator from the wind a fair bit however given the times that we do we are seeing huge um, amount of spinning there uh, <laughs> spinning at probably the maximum rate um, and we are getting very low volts and absolutely no current. Uh, but again, it, uh, the, the uh, lack of rigidity there on that pole is definitely uh, uh, hindering us a bit. But there's no way uh, there's, there's no way the generator is actually working as it's designed. So uh, back to the drawing board, it seems, and probably a return of the generator.